Hi everyone and welcome to Onik News. Short, informative and always up to date. We provide you with the newest K-pop and Korean related news every day, so make sure to hit the subscribe button for the latest infos and trends. Shall we get started? Let's go. Moon Tail, 30, stage name Tail, from NCT has been under police investigation for aggravated quasi rp it was confirmed on the 7th. Moon was questioned at Seoul's Bangbae police station and subsequently transferred to the Seoul Central District Prosecutor's Office on August 12. It has been reported that the prosecutors have not yet summoned Moon. According to the investigation, Moon was accused of s asterisk u ally assaulting a woman who was intoxicated, alongside two acquaintances, in June. He was summoned for questioning two months after the accusation, on August 28. It is believed that none of Moon's accomplices are public figures. Aggravated quasi rp involves committing rp while armed with a weapon or acting in concert with two or more people against a victim who is incapacitated or unable to resist. If the charges are upheld, Moon could face at least seven years in prison or a life sentence under Article 4, Section 1 of the Act on the Punishment of S Asterisk UAL Crimes and Other Crimes. SM Entertainment released an official statement only after Moon's police appearance, confirming that, Tail has been accused of involvement in a criminal S Asterisk UAL offense, and added Tail has been accused of involvement in a criminal S Asterisk UAL offense. Fans expressed frustration, saying if the crime is serious enough to warrant immediate withdrawal, the details should be disclosed. However, SM Entertainment has not provided further comments on the situation. Many fans have demanded strict punishment, asserting that, given there is a clear victim, we expect a harsh penalty, and questioning, is it really that hard not to commit a crime? Some fans have even taken action, sharing videos of themselves cutting up Tails photo cards and merchandise on social media. Moon debuted in April 2016 as part of the boy group, NCTU, a subunit of SM Entertainment's, NCT, and gained significant popularity, particularly in Japan and China. He later joined the group's other subunit, NCT 127. Despite the investigation, Moon continued to appear in public events, including the NCT 127th Anniversary Fan Meeting in Seoul's Jamsil Indoor Stadium on August 3 and 4, and also participated in the group's recently released full-length album. Regarding the allegations of aggravated quasi rp an SM representative stated, since the investigation is ongoing, it is difficult to comment at this time. According to their agency on October 7, Kep one Err has confirmed the release of a new album on November 1, marking their comeback for the latter half of the year. This will be their first comeback in five months since their full-length debut album, Kep one Going On, in June. This comeback is particularly significant as fans will witness a new transformation from Kep one Err, who has quickly risen as a leading girl group. At the end of September, Cap Warner heightened fans' expectations by premiering their pre-release track, Sync Love, at KCON Germany 2024 in Frankfurt. Sync Love, is a hyper-pop-based dance track that blends catchy, stylish rap with a mystical melody. It carries a futuristic and cyber-themed vibe with a message about overcoming fear and seeking freedom in a love that feels restrictive. The song received an explosive response from the local audience. In this comeback, Cap One Error will work alongside both their agency Wake One and Club Entertainment, a comprehensive management company. Club Entertainment, which has been supporting Cap One Error since their debut album, First Impact, will fully devote its efforts, focusing on enhancing the group's strengths and overall production quality. On October 6, Moon Hyuk of Monsta X marked his return from military service with a special fan event at Yes24 Live Hall in Seoul. Titled the 2024 Moon Hyuk Fan Event, the gathering was held in two sessions and offered free admission to fans, known as Monbebe. It was Moon Hyuk's first official appearance following his military discharge on October 3, and he personally led the event without a host, emphasizing direct communication with fans. Moon Hyuk surprised attendees by entering the venue from the back, holding a bouquet of flowers, and formally announcing his discharge. The event's theme, Let's Go! Whale, held personal significance, and Moon Hyuk shared stories from his time in the military, including his experience in the military band and involvement in creating cheering videos for the Paris Olympics. 
He also treated fans to a saxophone performance. The event was filled with laughter and heartfelt moments as Min Hyuk read fan letters, expressed his gratitude for their support during his absence, and took on new challenges. He ended the day with a group photo session and a performance of Monster X's fan song, BB. In a touching gesture, Min Hyuk personally bid farewell to each fan, handing out photo cards and messages. Reflecting on Monster X's growth and his love for Monbebe, Min Hyuk promised more future activities and encouraged fans to stay connected. His agency, Starship Entertainment, shared Min Hyuk's heartfelt message, thanking fans for their unwavering support and expressing excitement for the future. This video is sponsored by DGOD Din Hasty Clothing. Grab their limited free shirts giveaway by simply following them on Instagram at DGOD Clothing and comment on the shirt you like. On October 6, Baby Monster performed as the opening act for the final day of 2NE1's Welcome Back concert in Seoul, to congratulate 2NE1's comeback after a decade. 2NE1 is YG Entertainment's first-ever girl group, while Baby Monster is YG's newest girl group. Baby Monster performed, Sheesh, and, Batter Up, and expressed how honored they were to be able to open for the legendary girl group. They thanked Blackjacks, 2NE1's fandom name, for the overwhelming support of their stages, and members Ayeon and Rami also each sang a snippet of 2NE1's hit songs, Ugly, and Lonely, respectively, a cappella style, to express their excitement as fellow Blackjacks while also showcasing their vocal talent. 2NE1 will carry on with their Asian tour to meet fans at Manila, Jakarta, Kobe, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Singapore, Bangkok, and Taipei. Jisoo has shared a surprising update with her fans. On October 6, KST, the Blackpink member took to her personal Instagram to share an Instagram story with the caption, it's fun to have light hair after a long time, as well as a series of photos of her new hair color. In one particular photo, Jisoo is seen taking a mirror selfie in a thick-knit sweater while playfully pouting for the camera. Her distinct features draw attention even without makeup. This new look garnered positive reactions from fans, with those following her account leaving comments like, Jisoo's visuals are insane, brown-haired Jisoo is such a surprise gift, and, it suits her so well. She's really pretty. Netizens are also speculating about whether the new hair color is a part of comeback preparations, whether that be a solo album or the drama, Monthly Boyfriend, which she had been in talks to star in. Meanwhile, the other Blackpink members are ending the year with various solo releases. Lisa released her new single, Moonlit Floor, on October 4, while Jenny is set to return to the music scene with, Mantra, on October 11. Rosé has also announced the release of her first full-length album, Rosie, on December 6. Say My Name is gearing up for their highly anticipated debut. The group's debut track, eponymously titled, Say My Name, is set to be released in less than two weeks. The charming new concept photos highlight the individual beauty of Say My Name's seven members in a natural setting. Say My Name will debut on October 16 at 6 p.m. KST. What do you think about these news? Please let us know in the comments. This video was sponsored by DGOD Din Hasty Clothing. Don't forget to grab your limited free shirt by following them on Instagram at DGOD Clothing. Subscribe and turn on notifications for your daily doses of the latest K-pop and Korean related news. Thanks for watching and have a great day.